if you're struggling with the trading permissions to get you approved to trade options, futures, anything else with interactive brokers, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to get those approvals in place right here, right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your browser and just go to interactivebrokers.com. We're going to pop that open. You're going to log in here in the top right, portal login. And assuming you know your login credentials information, I'm going to go in and log into my account. You can also do this from your Interactive Brokers TWS on the desktop trader. If you want to do this and launch the window, you can go to account. And if you click on account management home, it's going to pop up that same window and let you log into your portal online. It'll get you there in a couple of clicks if you're in your TWS. So run our portal. And now what we want to do is very simply go up to our name here in the top right and the little avatar. You want to click on settings and also put it on dark mode if you haven't already. The light mode is just killer on the eyes. Go dark mode and let's go to settings. And then there's two different things you have to do in the settings department to get the trading permissions approved. And they vary a bit depending on your account. What you want to do first is go here on the left-hand side and you need to understand that if you scroll down and you go down to trading permissions, this is where you're going to select which type of entity you want to trade. Right now I've got stocks and I've got options collected. So if I click into my options, you can add or edit these right here. And I can see here any kind of market where I want to trade options, for example, if I want to do it in Belgium, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, wherever it is, I'm going to do it in Canada and the United States right now. You can just check these boxes. If you want to add Germany, let's say, you would check the box. Or if you want to uncheck a box, you could do that as well and just change it up. And then I can move myself up here. You would just click continue down here in the bottom right. Trading permission downgrades are requests shortly. If you have positions, it'll just give you a kind of warning if you're downgrading. So we're going to take that off right now and keep it on Canada. I don't want to downgrade. So we're going to continue. And now it's going to say, hey, this is the change that you want to submit. If, if you're just adding things, it's going to be clicking on this. We'll submit the changes below. And that'll be your request. And then you just go in here and you sign your digital name and just click continue. And I would start processing your request. It does take interactive brokers anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to go through these. And that's 24 to 40 hours business days. They don't work on weekends and this kind of stuff. So it can take a little bit of time if you put the request in on a Friday. So just keep that in mind. That's how you can add different kinds of permissions. Again, if you wanted to trade something different other than options, we're going to back out of this. I'm going to discard changes because I don't want to change anything right now. I don't actually want to add German uh, options in here. Uh, you can just go down here. You want to add some futures, request futures, do the same thing, pick your market, submit it, right? Continue. And you just put that in there and you can say that, oh, well, here's something you have to think about as well. The financial information and experience that you have in your objectives is not going to meet the eligibility of the requirement. So if you get this, this is the second part of this whole strategy, because you can do this, you can select what you want to trade in these browsers here. Then you have to go back and make sure that your eligibility makes the requirements that Interactive Broker sets out in order to trade these things. And the problem here is that they don't tell you what the eligibility requirements are. So it could take a little bit of finagling to do this, but hey, let's just say that we're gonna cancel this request for now and go back, back out. And let's say we wanna do, we don't wanna do futures with Canada. So what we have to do first is go back and we're gonna keep that in there for later, but we wanna go back out again one more time to the past screen where all our different kind of options are in our portal. And we know that we can get back to that again by going to welcome settings. And we can scroll down and do trading permissions anytime we want you to add anything, futures, options, ETFs, whatever, like Forex, whatever you want to do, you can put in there trading permissions. But before we do that, again, we want to make sure we have the right permissions on and the right experience. So we'll get approved when we go and make these submissions. So we want to do now is go up, go up, go up, go up and financial profile. This is the financial profile that you're going to want to change. And if you scroll down here, there's different things you have to edit and make sure that it just, you have to kind of play with it to make sure it hits interactive brokers permissions. They're not going to tell you what you have to have in here, but this is what's worked for me to get options. So I'm not saying you can do the same thing, but if it works for you, great. If not, try something else. Keep just kind of tweaking it, bumping it up until it gets approved. And this is where you have to kind of go and say, Hey, I've got options experience. I've got margin experience. I've got bonds experience and I've got some stock experience, right? So use the levels of trades you want to make and the options knowledge, and then just basically the experience. So if you want to add something like Forex to your portfolio, you can see why I didn't get approved right away. I wouldn't have been approved right away because I don't have the options or the Forex experience in here. To change that, we go to edit. And now Forex, you can see zero years of experience, zero trades per year, no knowledge. If this is blank like this, yeah, they're not going to give me the option to trade Forex because I don't have the experience listed in here. So you have to go in here and actually manually change these to whatever level you feel like you're at and just how many trades you want to do and just different things like this. Let's say it's that. <clears throat> and again, 
you can just click continue and this will update. And then hopefully you can go back and change and add those Forex trading permissions in. And given that this has been updated now, it looks good and there's solid experience in here. Interactive brokers are gonna say, okay, wait, this person does have experience. They do meet the requirements. We're gonna give them permissions to do this in their account. As long as you have the right account to do this as well, different, different types of accounts, margin, cash, uh, just they, there's different trading permissions in those different accounts as well. So make sure you understand how this works and how it's going to affect you. Once you have this locked down, again, you might have to trade it. You might have to kind of bump it up to 51 to 100. Just see what works. Eventually you'll get the notification that says, hey, you're approved. It should be in your account notification section, but just keep playing with these numbers until you get it right. And then once you do get it right, you can go back. And once you're approved, you can go ahead and start again. We're going to go back. We're going to go to settings one more time. And let's say the Forex was approved. We would go in then, we would go down, we would go down to trading permissions. And again, you'd go into Forex and I'd say, or futures, let's say, uh, I did Forex, so I'll, I'll do Forex here. And if I wanna do currency can forward leverage Forex, I'll just click those buttons and then just continue. And you would submit that. And then they would go ahead and hopefully get it approved for you in a couple of days, again, 24 to 48 hours. If you wanna take things off, again, it's the same thing. You come in here, add edit, you can click things off, you can submit it, and then you're good to go. And you can take those off, add them on. You can do this kind of at your own leisure, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to trade. If you want to trade your strategy and then it doesn't work, you can switch it up, which is the nice thing about interactive brokers. You can do the other things and keep adding these things, but it is in your web portal login to do this. Go to your account, go to the settings, and then go ahead and make the changes you need to get the account set up. Don't worry about if it takes a couple of times, a couple trips around to kind of the, the settings, because it took me a while to get approved as well when I first started trading options. It just, it's a process you have to understand and learn and interactive brokers does this. So they don't want everybody trading because it can be risky to trade you different products like options, like futures, if you don't understand what they entail. So it is important that you understand, do your research on what they are and how they work before you go ahead and request the permission, because you don't want to go ahead and try a new strategy. Then obviously it blows up in your face. So do your due diligence, understand what's going on. Don't lie in the portfolio, get the experience understand how it works, and then go ahead and make your request and then change it up in here to get approved for your trading. So I hope this got you one step closer to getting the trading permissions that you need for your trading account set up and ready to go. My name's Andrew. I do everything trading view, interactive brokers, tutorials, and actually stock options and investing on this channel. If you like what you saw here today, consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.